Okay. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Matthew. Um, it's going to be, I think, a short video. Uh, I just heard today that uh, this was uh, T.S. Eliot's uh, birthday, so I thought uh, I'll talk about T.S. Eliot a little bit and um, one, one of my favorite poems. I like a lot of his, but I thought I would talk about just one. Um, he was early on one of those poets that um, seemed to be impenetrable. He's a kind of, has a reputation of being like a formidable, difficult poet, which which he is. I mean, he's not Andy. Um, he's not the easiest poet to read by any stretch. Um, but I found that the more that I read outside of T.S. Eliot, um, and, and reading him, of course, um, the more enjoyable I, I found him. Um, he has, they're kind of like these like inside jokes and allusions and references that he's making, um, especially in The Wasteland. Um, but a a as you kind of catch them, um, it's, it's just like a, a kind of a nice feeling. Aside from that, he's a, uh, lyrically a beautiful uh, poet. He has these inc so many incredible lines um, that Daphne um, have become part of uh, even today's vernacular. Um, you constantly hear about um, what, whatever it is um, ending in a um, whatever ending in a whimper instead of a bang. I can't remember how it goes. Andy, Andy, come on. I have two excited cats. Um, <clears throat> but he, I mean, he is great fun. Like, uh, he says, um, you know, here, here we go around the prickly pear, the prickly pear, the prickly pear. Here we go around the prickly pear at four o'clock in the morning. That's in the wasteland. Uh, so it, it's not just this incredibly dense, difficult, thing there's like songs in it and the little jabs like he says um you know oh that shakespearean rag it's so elegant so intelligent uh it's kind of fun to hear yeah. this is andy um but i thought i would tell you about um one of my favorite uh poems of his. It's um, a portrait of a lady. Um, and it's uh, it's like a three three part poem. Um, I, I I don't really think that it has like a easy narrative. I don't I don't I don't know what the story is. It's more like um, like a recollection or a memory um, of just some kind of interaction with um, like a younger person and an older woman. It's how I see it. Um, the first part is great. It has these great images of um, four rings of light on the ceiling from four coming off of four candles that are on a table. It's great. Um, but Andy, Andy, Andy. Um, <clears throat> I thought I'd read a little bit of um, like one of my favorite parts of the poem. Um, so if, if you know it, you can enjoy it, or um, maybe it'll be enough incentive to maybe uh, read some of his poems uh, today or anytime. So the, the second part of uh, A Portrait of a Lady, um, it, it starts, and he says, um, now that lilacs are in bloom, she has a bowl of lilacs in her room, and she twists one in her fingers while she talks. Ah, my friend, you do not know. You do not You do not know what life is. You who hold it in your hands, slowly twisting the lilac stalks. You let it flow from you. You let it flow. 
and youth is cruel and has no remorse and smiles at situations which it cannot see. I smile, of course, and go on drinking tea. Yet with these April sunsets, I somehow recall my buried life in Paris in the spring and find myself immeasurably at peace and feel the world to be wonderful and youthful after all. I think that's about right. It, it, it goes on from there. Um, I might have gotten something mixed up. The cats were going around. I got a phone call. Um, but I love it. Um, I, I didn't. I didn't sit down to memorize it. It's just like years of um, reading it and enjoying it and having things that just uh, become part of your heart. Um, <clears throat> it's it's like a this strange dialogue that is at, like at once uh, sad um, and and then also <laughs> hopeful. Um, I love how cryptic it is. You, you don't exactly know what's going on. So it's um, almost like your own memories where sometimes your mood can define your recollection. Um, I was recently thinking about this poem, that, that part that I just read uh, when I was reading the Ketra Mirai um, uh, earlier this year and thinking about poor uh, Holden and uh, I just kept going over uh, that line. He's like, you do not know. You do not know what life is and youth is cruel. Um, and that's kind of, I almost felt like someone could have had that dialogue with him or perhaps like the psychiatrist and Holden could talk about that. A anyway, I don't wanna talk about Holden Caulfield. Um, <clears throat> that's it. It's just kind of like a short video. I just thought I would talk about T.S. Eliot a little bit. Um, Andy, uh, the cat back there, um, there he is. Uh, T.S. Eliot is actually Andy's favorite poet. Uh, he loves um, the old possum's book of impractical cats. Uh, so I went there. Um, Thank, thank you for watching. Uh, leave some comments if you if you like T.S. Eliot or if you have thoughts about T.S. Eliot um, or anything like that. So uh, thank you for watching.